Welcome back. New details today on the investigation into the jail cell death of Jeffrey Epstein. Questions surrounding his death are intensifying after important surveillance video was apparently lost. CBS News correspondent Mola Lange reports on the growing criticism of the jail where Epstein was held. A recent 60 Minutes broadcast shows the New York jail cell where Jeffrey Epstein hanged himself last August. But now there's new focus on the suicide attempt Epstein made weeks before he died. Video of the cell exterior where Epstein first tried to end his life was sent to federal investigators and restored last week. But on Thursday, prosecutors said it's the wrong video. In a letter, federal prosecutors said the jail inadvertently preserved video from the wrong tier at the jail. And as a result, video from outside the defendant's cell no longer exists. CBS News legal analyst Ricky Kleeman. When I read this letter, I had to reread it because I said, this just can't be happening. This is madness. Nicholas Tartaglione was Epstein's cellmate at the Metropolitan Correctional Center for the weeks between Epstein's July arrest and his first suicide attempt. Bruce Barquette is Tartaglione's attorney. It is the worst facility, jail or prison, that I've been to in 35 years of practicing law. The missing jail cell video could reignite speculation of a cover-up as the detention facility continues to be under fire for multiple failures before Epstein died in custody. When you've got videotape disappearing, cameras not working, guards allegedly not being uh, where they're supposed to be, it's no wonder that Jeffrey Epstein is dead. These things can happen, right? These things can happen, but they all shouldn't happen in one place. The Federal Bureau of Prisons, which oversees the Metropolitan Correctional Center here where Jeffrey Epstein died, declined comment yesterday, citing the ongoing federal investigation into Epstein's death here at the MCC, which, by the way, was five months ago today. Mola Lenghi, CBS News, New York.